In what could be a big step forward in cross-border relations, South and North Korea have reopened their communication lines. It had been more than a year since North Korea cut off those lines unilaterally. The Blue House in Seoul says President Moon and North Korea's Kim Jong-un had exchanged letters and agreed to restore communications and improve ties. Kim Min-ji has the details. South and North Korea have restored key cross-border communication lines some 13 months after Pyongyang unilaterally severed them. The Blue House said Tuesday that the leaders of the two Koreas had exchanged multiple letters since April, in which they discussed restoring relations. The leaders of South and North Korea have exchanged personal letters on multiple occasions since April regarding the restoration of ties and in the process agreed to reopen the severed communication lines. The communication lines that have been reopened are the ones overseen by the military and the unification ministry. The hotline between the leaders is yet to be restored. The Blue House said that in their letters, the leaders shared an understanding of the need to develop inter-Korean ties and restore mutual trust at an early date for peace on the Korean peninsula. In June last year, North Korea cut all cross-border communication and blew up the inter-Korean liaison office in protest against propaganda leaflets sent by activists that it said Seoul had failed to stop. North Korea also confirmed that the lines were restored, saying this will play a positive role in improving relations. The North Korean Central News Agency said that the whole Korean nation desires to see relations recover from recent setbacks and stagnation. Coincidence may be, but the reopening came on the 68th anniversary of the Korean War armistice agreement, the truce that halted active combat. The move is expected to give President Moon Jae-in some room to get his peace initiative going again. Inter-Korean relations have been at a standstill since the North Korea-U.S. summit in early 2019 ended without a deal. Focus will be on how much progress can be made going forward, as President Moon is running short on time, with less than 10 months left in office. Options could include a summit, albeit virtually, between the two leaders. The Blue House says such matters have not been discussed, but that it will continue to make efforts to improve relations. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.